Okay, here we have a 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk 3.2 liter V6 spark plug replacement. I'm doing the video because I've heard uh, people were getting charged $500 for a spark plug change and it actually takes about an hour to do. You can see I've removed top cover already. Snaps off. No biggie. And here's what you have underneath. Okay, very simple. You need an 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, and a half inch wrench. First off, of course, what we want to do is go through and unplug all our hoses. First, you unplug the PCV valve hose, and it's got two clips that snap onto the engine. Unplug it here and it can just hang in front. Uh, the hose here unplugs, comes out. This boot just raises up with a little bit of effort. No big deal. Snap this plug loose. And I'm not going to go through it because I've already replaced my plugs. I'm just trying to give some people a little help. Uh, unplug this hose pull right off unplug this hose pull right off that'll be all your hoses and they can just hang there they won't get in the way then you have one two three four electrical connectors which you can unplug and remove the clips that hold them on the part uh, you can't get them crossed up because they ha each have their specific alignment and they can only plug back in to the same place no problem then after that 10 millimeter hose clamp here here remove your air intake hose one more 10 millimeter hose clamp here just loosen it then your air plunum here that's got a plug in the back and the front just a plug just like your engine cover this here looks like a bolt but it's not it's just a rubber grommet type plug this bracket slides under uh, pull on the back that'll pop off you'll feel it and then slide it off and out out of your way at that point you will be able to see your three rear plug coils all they are is a coil with one 10 millimeter bolt and the extension which goes down in the hole to change your plug. Fairly normal, just like others. Then the hard part is getting to the front three plugs, which I assume is what Jeep tells people that takes so much time. Like I say, from beginning to end, it took me about an hour. So you have most important part here one two three four ten millimeter nuts remove all four of those okay see where those were two in the front two in the back on the rear and this is a bracket that extends this far this is the key to it here this bracket once you remove those two nuts 10 millimeter nuts look down there you can see that bundle of wires has just a holding point which slides onto that slide that off there's a half inch nut unscrew that and the entire stud will actually come loose you don't have to remove it unless you want to that will allow this bracket to become loose you're almost there at that point you have seven eight millimeter bolts holding your upper air intake down one two three as you can see under the plunum bracket that will be exposed when you remove the plunum four 
five, six, and seven. Seven eight millimeter bolts, about two inches long. Remove those completely. At that point, you're ready to remove your upper air intake to expose your front three spark plugs. Remember, with this bracket loose, sit it off so your studs don't get hung on it. The entire upper intake lifts up and slides out of these brackets. Take the piece of foam off, and there you have all six spark plug coils exposed. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt for each one, unplug it, install your new plug simple process um, like I say it took me about an hour and that was the very first time so as you do it you'll get better um, and then uh, after that just do the reverse of installation don't forget oh yes uh, when you lift this up you will have your fuel intake exposed six big openings um, I prefer to cover those with a piece of clean cardboard uh, if you drop a bolt in there you're in trouble get any trash you don't want to do that that will be exposed so cover that up um, replace six plugs first part to go back on will be your piece of foam then your upper air intake plugs in the front brackets slides down you can install your bracket back on and just finger tight everything. Put your seven bolts back in. They're tightened to about seven to nine newton meters. Not really tight. You don't want to you don't want to break the plastic when you're retightening it. Just snug them. Uh, the hoses can only plug into one area. Make sure you get your clips back on that hold them next to the engine nice and neat plug all these in uh, electrical connectors snap right back in where they were you can't cross them up uh, the plunum to reinstall I like to rub a little oil around the rim of it so it slides in the hose clamp here fairly easily um, I like to reach back here and feel when it snaps on snap it underneath the rubber grommet here install your air hose snap your cover back on and there you have it from beginning to end I'll do a full video next time I change my plugs which will be about 25,000 miles I'm not a believer in letting spark plugs go for a hundred thousand miles and I'm also not a believer of paying a car dealer $500 or a spark plug replacement. Sorry for the noise. So, slight bit of mechanical ability. Follow directions. Uh, here's the bracket. Most important bracket. Plug these hoses back on. Tighten the bolt. It's easier to get to with a long reach, half inch wrench. That was easier for me. It's not tight to start with. Get that back in place. Tighten everything. There you have 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk spark plug replacement. $500 to blow. Thanks for watching.